Hi, my name is Ronald Johnson, and what I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. So I'm your mentor, life coach, and I help people that are stuck. And if you're lacking low self-esteem, low confidence, this work can help you because I've been there. And today's topic is going to be about discussing my own bouts of depression, but I didn't even know it. So as I moved to Bellingham, Washington, a lot of things will happen to you. Uh, well, as you transition to anything in life, th things in your experience will just happen out the blue. And what I start noticing is that I'm a kind of person where I wake up at about 4 a.m. in the morning, I read a book for an hour, then I start my day and I start my work and, you know, just that's, I'd like wake up early in the morning. So I started noticing the last couple of weeks was I was always tired and I was always frustrated and I was always uh, uneasy, anxiety. It says, I got to be a doer and constantly do something in order to feel I'm a part of something. And I realized this, I was facing more of a depression. Depression was lacking the amount of energy I need to a task. So when I started really meditating and digging deep in what was really happening inside me, what was happening inside me is I'm going through this change of transitioning out of training into full-time coaching uh, and not being able to get clients immediately right in my business. Because when you start a business very new, it takes time to build up your clientele. It takes time to get things going. That's just kind of the way business works. So as I was going through this, I started thinking to myself, boy, I'm always tired. And it's because I've been so used to, and this comes to my dad. My dad, five years old, told me, taught me, son, I'm going to teach you to be an adult because you're going to be an adult long to be a child. So if I'm working, I feel good. If I'm making money, I feel good. If I come true to the household, I feel good. And always being busy, for me, was a sign I'm working and I'm being productive. Let me tell you why I started realizing. Well, I stopped waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I started now waking up at 4.30 in the morning. I started really getting engrossed in my books. I was just reading them just to read them. And what I started to feel is, what's really going on in my body? How come I'm always tired? It's 10 o'clock in the morning. I should be having a lot of energy. I'm sleepy. I'm tired. I just been up, let's say, six hours. And for most people, waking up at 4 a.m. is something they can't do. But for me, I realized that's where I get most energy. So when I start waking up early in the morning, in this particular case, and getting low energy at 10 a.m. in the morning, I realized I was going through something that was deep. And what was deep was that I'm not contributing to my household and I, my business isn't where I want to be and I'm frustrated. And that's why my energy was very low and that's why I started getting, uh, I would say, depression. I was depressed because I'm not fulfilling my full potential. I'm not doing, I'm not where I want to be. I'm not, should be, could be doing all that is all a construct of my belief system. And a belief system is, I always said, as a software uploaded to you, right? So as I was a kid, I explained earlier, my dad was always say, you have to be busy or be doing something in order to contribute. You got to be working. So if I'm not working on fulfilling something or not making money, I'm not contributing. So when I realized what was really happening, that I was facing lack of energy, low esteem, and depression actually felt good. I will tell you why it felt good. Because now I was able to release that energy. I was able to release the fact I was depressed and acknowledge that. And see, most of us don't realize we don't acknowledge what we're going through. We just subdue it. We suppress it. We think it's going to go away. And it, it, it doesn't go away. Because once you have the ability to deal with a problem or bring it up, you actually can release that energy. See, anytime we go through something as energy, it's emotional energy, what I'm referring to, lack of energy, uh, less sleep, insomnia, these things have energy inside them. So when I was able to actually name what I was going through, I released that energy. Let me tell you one tip. Whenever you're going through something, stop, swipe, and that's why I'm Jay Shady. Stop, swipe, and spot the problem. This time I stopped. I spot the problem. I was able to swipe, meaning I was able to actually name the problem. So that way I can release that energy. And once I was able to release the energy, I felt much better. Because most of us don't ignore these problems. Now, I don't need to see a doctor and get medication, right? I just need to name the problem and come to terms with the fact I was going through this. 
and not ignoring the fact it was happening. See, most of the time we ignore the fact something's happening and think it'll go away, but it doesn't, like I said earlier, but that's what started happening to me. I had to name the problem, I had to identify the problem, and now release the energy so I can heal. Because what I'm going through right now is temporarily. So if you're going through something in your life, Everything you're going through right now is just temporary. You yourself can transition that, and it's just, it just takes time. You know, you're not always going to be on the bottom. You're not always going to be on the top. But what you're going through right now, it will be a process. And where you should be at the right time. So what I'm going through right now, is I'm exactly where I should be. I can revel in the fact that I'm where I think I should be because I'm trying. I may not be busy all the time or constantly doing something, but trying to work on something will better myself. So when you're going through problems, Stop, spot, swipe, name the problem, release that energy so you self can heal and feel much better. So again, this is Ron Johnson, mentor life coach. And what I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. So if this is affecting your relationship success, this is where I help, can help because I've been there. You can also find me under hashtag Ron Johnson Life Coach on Instagram and on Facebook. And my website is www ronbusinesscoaching.com so if you're in a place where you're feeling stuck and you want to know how to transition that contact me because i can help you